Hello fellow adventure seekers, Rootless Wanderer here. And today I'm going to give you a tour of my minivan camper. Um, I have been living in this camper since May 1st, 2021. And I've learned a lot. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes and um, I think I've got everything kind of dialed in to where it's not only comfortable for myself, but aesthetically pleasing. I'm a Libra, I like it to look pretty. Uh, and yeah, so I'm enjoying the van life. I've had some really great adventures, um, some tragedies, some loss. But today is, um, today's a, today is a good day. And I figure I'll show you my van. So let's start with the front. Give you a tour of the front. It's not very exciting. I have these screens that um, I bought from Amazon and they just slip over the, the door and you can roll the window down. Have ventilation and keep bugs out. You can also see here that I have rain guards on my windows and I bought and installed those myself. They are probably one of the most important things for van life. Being stuck in a van when it's raining and not wanting to get rain inside but wanting to get ventilation, you need these. Okay, so in the front, guys, what do I have? Um, okay, so this is just like um, a little bag with like nail clippers and tweezers because like right ladies, it's perfect lighting sitting in the front seat and tweezing. Girl stuff. Anyway, so I keep that there in lotion always, a hair tie, hand sanitizer. Over here, oh, I keep a boot brush because it's very important that after you go hiking to make sure to brush off your footwear before getting into your vehicle. That way you're not transferring um, invasive species. If you're a hiker, make sure you brush off your footwear, your boots. Okay, so, and then, in here, I mean, it's not that exciting, guys. I just have some extra water and um, garbage can right there. I can access this garbage can both from the back and the front. And then this is a little cooler I keep in the front for snacks when I'm on the road. I don't have to go all the way to the back into the kitchen. So on the passenger side, we don't have a whole lot of excitement either. I mean, I like to keep it clean and neat so that someone looking in the vehicle at night isn't going to see something and want to smash and grab. So down here, I just have a couple of Lucy lights, um, tripod for my phone. These are gardening gloves that I use to pick up garbage because no matter where I camp or go, there's garbage and I pick it up. I have a road atlas here. I like to have a paper copy because, you know, technology does fail. This is a, oh, I love these things, you guys. I got these on Amazon. I'm trying to use these rather than like Ziploc bags, guys. You know, the less plastic waste we have, the better. I'm, I'm trying. I know it's a process. I use this bag to hold the screens for the windows. And then I just tuck it in here. And then I think that's it. And then under the seat, I just store um, my pop-up window shades. I had a lot of trouble making window covers for this van. And in the end, I just bought these cheap pop-up ones that work very well with binder clips. All right, that's the front. Here, I'll take you around back to the kitchen. I love the way it's set up now. It works so well. You can see here that I have removed the seats. What I did was I bought some of these project panels. They're made out of pine and I placed them across here. I'll show you. Take my sink. So because the seats are removed, there's a well, right? 
and I want to be able to use storage under and then lift up my fridge because this fridge takes up a lot of space. I have stored on this side, I have a toolbox, a drill, this side a camp oven, a Coleman camp oven, and um, some cords and extra stuff for my Costway 12 volt refrigerator. And then I've got some bins from Ikea and they just pull out. And I've got my pots and pans stored in here, my AeroPress for coffee, because I need my coffee. I have a kettle, and that just slides in. And then the only cookbook I kept for van life, guys. I know I can get recipes online, but I just love having physical copies of books sometimes. And I, I did pare it down to just one cookbook. I love this one. Okay, and then in this bin here, you just pull out. And then this is where I keep my bags. These are my shopping bags. Um, my mesh bags for produce. These are some more of those um, reusable silicone, like Ziploc type bags that I bought from Amazon. There's my, my shopping bags. I've got baby wipes in here. I keep in this little stuff sack, I have dish towels and dish cloths. I've got some big garbage bags for when I'm camping. And then back here, I have trash compactor bags. And if you're a hiker, a backpacker, you know what these are used for, right guys? <laughs> I live in BC <laughs> and it's typically raining here. Right now we're still in a drought, but Okay, so that's what's stored underneath these panels. And in between, I've placed a five gallon jug of water and a pump. I take this cutting board, I place it across the panels, and then I place my sink, collapsible sink that I got from Amazon, and I place it under the spout. So I've got a sink. It's also there um, in case it drips while I'm driving. This is a cabinet from Ikea as well. Um, it has these little holes on the back of it for anchoring to the wall. What I've done is run this um, nylon cord through it and out the other side and tied it, tied it down so my cabinet won't go forward. But what it's done, it's created this like tension here so I can hook a bungee cord and paper towel holder. <laughs> it works great. And then my fridge. And then here I have, this is a single burner Coleman um, portable gas stove. I've got butane cartridges stored right in there. And then I have here um, a little strap to hold the filing cabinet and the stove and anchor it here. So everything stays put, even the refrigerator is held on by bungees and same with on the other handle, it comes around this side. So everything stays. So here we have the strap and I, I'll just loosen this and show you what I do. I just loosen it, drop it, move the stove out of the way. And then I have access to my filing cabinet. Now I keep the locks in here it, i don't store anything valuable it's just the locks keep the drawers from sliding out so i love having locks down here i have this is all i have for eating i've got a couple of plates bowls this is all my utensils that i have for cooking and eating can openers tongs stuff like that this is a spray bottle with vinegar and water mixed for doing dishes. That's all I use. And then I have a little fire extinguisher and that's what's in this drawer. Let's show you the top. And this is just food storage. <laughs> it's not as neat. Uh, I probably should have cleaned up. <laughs> so that is what is in my filing cabinet. What I do is I just tuck it in there. Make sure the filing cabinet's locked so the drawers don't come flying out. And then I just 
tighten this strap down and everything is held in. There we go. That is my kitchen, guys. Welcome to my van. So one of the biggest changes I made to the van is to my IKEA futon. Now, if you watched my previous videos, I had my futon set up vertically this way and I had the back so I could lean against it. And it was really big and bulky and I did not feel like I had a whole lot of floor space because the seat portion and the back portion held together by a zip. And I removed that and then I placed the seat portion of the futon along with the frame. The frame is still here, right here. And I placed it this way. I still can jump through the van to the front seat if I need to in an emergency. I can reach anything in the front from the back. All of these cushions and cushion covers I purchased at Ikea. And then here I have a sheet from Ikea and a blanket from Ikea. And then this here is, um, is actually a crib skirt from Ikea. It's meant for a crib, but the skirt works perfectly and it helps to conceal my shoes that go on the side. And there's my scub organizer under there. I'll show you in a minute right here. So this scub or organizer works great. This is where I store all of my clothes. I don't want to pull it all the way out right now, but I'll just show you. It zips. And it also has these vents. So there's airflow to your clothing, but the zip ensures that you're not gonna be getting moths and other bugs in there chomping on your clothing. And it just fits perfectly under this futon frame. And then here is an Ikea cabinet that I just purchased for the van. Um, it works so well. It is also locking, just like my filing cabinet. I leave the key in, but it stops the doors from flying open. And I have all my stuff organized inside. You can see. Right. Okay, so, and my cushions, and then I have another curtain panel from Ikea on that side. I will take off my shoes and hop in. Here we are sitting in my van. This footstool here serves as a few purposes. It creates kind of like an L-shaped sofa for me. I can lounge. I will just push this seat forward, prop a pillow against here, lay my legs across, and I have the perfect chaise lounge. <laughs> It's really quite comfortable. The other purpose of this stool is my toilet. This is where I keep my toilet. It hasn't been used yet, but it's there in case I need to use it. I have been lucky with all the spots that I camp. I've had toilets, pit toilets. I've not had to use it, but it is there, you guys, if I need to. And then over here, we have oh, an amazing view. And look at this. This is the best part of this new layout, you guys. Look at all this floor space. Look, I can stretch my legs. I don't even, like, look, I can go right underneath. All right, so I have my Ikea cabinet here and a faux sheepskin rug on top just to add some texture, break it up a bit. And this is a lamp. It looks like a fire. I will <laughs> turn everything on tonight. 
um, when it's dark so you can see what it looks like. It looks really cool with the lanterns. Okay, so over here on this side, I have my temperature gauge and a humidity gauge. Um, it is just analog, so I don't have to worry about charging it. Um, right here, I just hang a whistle in case I need help. I do have defense items as well. Um, a knife and bear spray and stuff in case I need that. But And then over here, what I've done is I've just taken these um, bamboo trays they're like for utensils and drawers and stuff and i placed it along the armrest so on the side here of the cabinet you can see the um the bamboo case and now i have it just glued on it's not glued but i have it on there really well with um sticky gel pads they don't move i have a couple of books i have a foraging book uh I have Walden. I've just finished reading this and it was amazing and I don't know if I want to give this one up. Normally what I'll do is I will give someone this book and get a new one. And I have my Colorado Trail data book because I have yet to hike this trail, hopefully soon. And then what else do I have? Oh, yes, a guide to invasive species. <laughs> Because, like I said, it's really important not to spread this, guys. That's why I keep that boot brush. Alright, so and then I keep a fan on this side. And I have one on the other side. And it's um, a Honeywell. It's amazing. It blows really, really well. I've managed with two of these during a heat wave. And um, they are battery operated as well as USB charged. So what I did was I just plugged them into my Jackery 240 and they worked like a charm. So as you can see, I also have another one of these bamboo things um, on this side as well. And I just have a few decorations because I want it to look pretty. Got some fake plants. I've got another one of these cups with some more odds and ends. I, these are the cords for the fans. Um, pen and paper in case I need to write something down. And this is my tenacious tape because I always get rips in my puffies and I go crazy if I cannot find my tenacious tape. So that is in there as well. Um, I think that's it for there. Under this side, I keep rubber boots and my hiking boots. It is now around 9 p.m. and it's starting to get dark. I'm getting ready for bed. I am currently at a rest stop. So I figured I'd show you what it looks like in here at nighttime with the lantern and um, my little fireplace light going. I love this little lamp. It's so cute. So since um, I'm showing you what it looks like in here at night, I may as well show you a few other features that I added. Um, I have these little pop-up lights that I have installed in various places. I have one here. So if I need to really see, I can turn that one on. I also, in the cabinet, have installed a few lights in here as well. You can see them up there. Now these are little pot lights. They stick on and um, they're battery operated. I did get them from Amazon. You can change the colors as well. I have remotes for them, but or something there <laughs> my, my cabinet is glowing
So I just want to show you that in the kitchen, I also have one of those little pot lights. I have it right here. So it will illuminate my kitchen when I need to use it in the dark. So that is my lighting. Okay, so I'm going to show you that I can fit um, across this van. <laughs> I'm sleeping. You can see me. Let's see, I've got my head on the pillow here, and I will try to move this around. I fit completely across. So I just have this blanket. Um, I do have a sleeping bag in one of my cushions, a couple of sleeping bags, but it's summer, it's hot. I find I just need this blanket. It's super soft. I got it from Ikea. It's, oh, it's really soft. I love this blanket. Anyway, so um, what I do is you can see down here, I just tuck a cushion at the end there and then here a cushion I don't know if you can see a cushion there because there's a little gap in between the futon and the side doors so that just um gives me that little extra space for my feet and then because I have the autumn in there I can stretch sideways <laughs> I fit quite comfortably in here okay so that's how I sleep in this van <laughs> it's really comfortable I have the best sleeps ever and um, I seriously do not have any complaints Okay guys, so I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna hit the hay. Um, I hope you enjoyed my van tour. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them in a timely fashion. <laughs> if you like this video, like and subscribe and I will see you on the next adventure. Stay safe and happy hiking. What are you still doing here? Come on, get out of here. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep.